Ladies and gentlemen, divas of the realm, I am going to show to you today the kitting up of a very detailed and extensive project. This is from Uniquely Yours Down Under. This is Spirit of the Elements by Josephine Wall. Here is what the thumbnail, what the uh, what it will look like in the end, Lord willing. And I say it is a big project because it is 197 colors. And the canvas is 100 by 125 centimeters. This thing is way too huge to fit inside of a small YouTube camera. <laughs> so, you will see it piece by piece and hopefully by the time I get to the end, uh, there will be a spot for me to show it to you and this one is going to demand a custom frame I am absolutely sure of. Anyway, it is a double-sided adhesive canvas. I did do an unboxing on it at one point. The only thing I am concerned about <clears throat> from the Uniquely Yours canvases is that they do tend to be dark. The it's extremely sticky, but the canvases do tend to be dark. And I hope the color is coming out better on the camera than it does in the viewfinder here. So, <clears throat> that being said, I'm going to show you how I kit up something large, even though, do you believe this? This is, this is the drills. It fits in a big shoebox, the size of my son's big feet. <laughs> okay? They're all in the little dinky packages, and it's square. Oh, I hear some of you groaning already. I love square. Don't worry. I love confetti. Don't worry. Spear of the Elements. It has on it things like, okay, there's like a river. There's lightning. There's a sun. There's a volcano. Down here, there are mountains and trees and snowfall. There are boats on a river. Uh, there's a rainbow kind of through the clouds over here. There is There are butterflies and tree, like tree bark over here. Maybe some moss and some other life. Spirit of the Elements. I love this. I love this. Waterfall, trees. I can't wait to discover all the neat little hidden things in the picture that will um, that I'll discover as I'm working on it. So, the way I kit these things up, first of all, when I order it, I've shown you before my system, I come up with a, a page and I uh, cut out a picture of what I'm waiting for. I put when I'm ordering it and when then when it arrives, how much it is, and then I have a whole bunch of criteria down the side. I'm not going to go into all that now, but I do have the price and I do have the size. I will write the size down here now since I didn't seem to do it then. What did I say it was? 100 by 125. 25. I have an inventory date and a, which I'm not going to do, I have the little check marks on the list and a finished date. So, and it's square drill. All right. I think I'm going to need both sides for the hours I work on it. What do you think? All right. So that's that. What I do is I take the they give you pages. Okay, let me see. I'll show you the original pages. Because this will get a little confusing if I don't. One, two, three. Nope. Three. Three, 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 three. I wish to. Yeah, three. One of those trees. Here we go. There are three. <laughs> three pages of symbols. And DMC numbers, the number in order, and the quantity number, and how many bags you get of that one color. So what I'm going to do is I made a copy of these, and I'm going to keep this as a separate copy. I'm going to, I had to put it on four sheets because it cut the end off of two of them. So I'm going to use the originals that I got 
to do the kit up because I know they're all here. All right. They're also on the canvas too, so that's not a big deal. All right. I have chosen to use the Harbor Freight containers. You've seen these. Other divas have shown them to you. They come in 24 little individual storage boxes that have a little snap lid with a hinge. They hold a great number of things and that you can put the you know, you can put the sticker anywhere on here, either on the top, or you can you can put these two at a time, like this, on top of each other, or you can leave them on the sides like this, or you can even turn them over or put them on the sides like that, or you know, have them running this way. It doesn't really matter. Okay, however you like to kit them up is the right way. Okay. I like to do this because I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them in the DMC order. I always put them by DMC number color because that's how the smaller kits, that's how I get around. But I'm thinking that this might need to go by color. So I'm going to kit it up by DMC number first and then if I need to change the alignment of them in some way, I will do that. All right, so. I do believe that once these are cut apart, that they will fit on the side. Yeah, I only need the first three columns, and they will definitely fit on the side of a, of a container. So, that's good. Containers aside for the moment. Alright. All right, so what I do first is I get my paper trimmer out. You know, the one you use for scrapbooking. And this might look a little backwards to you, but you'll get the idea. What I do is I trim off what I need. All right, so I'm going to trim off right up to the numbers. I have to get the excess off of it first before I put it through the Xyron. Stick on me, go. It came out well. So now I go to make sure the DMC number is going to stay attached to it. And you can line up, if you have one of these that has the ditch, you can line up the, um, the black uh, tab tablet divider here, table divider, and cut it straight along that. So now I'm going to have strips like this. Right now, this is where the numbers start on the other one, the other side here. This is not necessary to keep that separate. So I know what I'm doing. Now, why are they so far apart and then the other ones aren't? I might have to fold them a little bit once I get them in. Oops. That's a shame. These are wider. They don't stay the same. That's going to be annoying. <clears throat> See what I mean? They have more room between the symbol and the DMC number than they do with that. This one fit perfectly. This one did not. So I'm going to have to make a fold in it. I fold it right along the side of the symbol. And then I fold it back on itself, making sure that the symbols still match up with the right number. All the lines match up like that. So now it's got a fold in it that takes out some of that stuff. And now it's going to be just about the same size. And that's all I need. All right, that's that. That's my trash. Here's the other long one. Again, I'm going to take off the extra edge here. I do not need that without cutting off a number. Yes. 
perfect. Oh boy. All right, that's going to be good. Carefully. Good. Now I'm going to get right up to the numbers on this one. Right up to the DMC numbers on this one. And just a little bit without cutting the number off. Good. And again, this one I have to fold because that's the way they did it. Well, at least there's a, it might be annoying, but at least there's a, a you know, work around for it. Right? It says here in fine print. Can you still see him doing up in your thing here? I'm glad you're joining me and keeping me company for this. I won't do the whole thing on camera. If I do, I'll speed it up to like 500% or something. And you'll get a kick out of that while I'm kidding up the rest of it now. Is that going to be small enough? Yeah, I guess. I could always do it the other way around too. And I might. We'll see how it goes. All right. I'm gonna cut the big chunk off the bottom first. I'm so crazy eager to get into a Josephine wall. You have no idea. Well, you probably do. Now I do have Angel of Flight also from Uniquely Yours Down Under, and I have um. Gemini from Dunping, Deutschland. I have to say, before I knew what I was doing, I had already purchased two from a company that was not legal. So I will not show them or say the company name. I will not be doing any of that on camera. They're already purchased, so I'm not going to waste the purchase, but... And they're only like a short, small number of colors. It's not like these. All right, now I'm done with the cutter, as far as I know, and the trash. All right, the next thing I do is I'm going to put them through the Xyron sticker maker. This is actually not a Xyron. This, yeah, it is a Xyron, but it was exclusive to. Um, Q QVC, something like that. That's why it's like this teal. This is the wider one, even though I don't. I only need the smaller one, but this is the wider. And you have to be careful when you rip it off because sometimes the sticky sticks on the inside where you don't want it to. So you have to like pull it out to get it started perfectly. There it goes. All right. I wasn't careful when I kitted up last time. It's my little scissors. <laughs> little baby scissors. I'm cutting off all the extra tops and bottoms here. Yeah. I didn't get close enough. I'm going to check to be sure, again, once again, that these will fit on the little containers. <coughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Sure. Oh yeah, it will go on this side. I don't think I want it to go underneath that, but it, it'll be skinny enough to do that. I 
do want the thing up if I can help it. Oh, beep, beep yourself. <laughs> Don't know who that might have been. Yeah, I mean, that way... All right, either way, it'll pretty much, it'll pretty much work. I'll make it work if it doesn't. You know, one of those mama makes it work deals. All right. I think I have gotten as close to the numbers as I'm going to get without cutting them off. And as I'm pushing this through <clears throat> the sticker maker, I want to tell you something kind of share with you something that happened the other day. It happened to a friend of mine, actually. And uh, that's 198. That's the last one. 68. These are the 90s. 120. 173. No. Nope. This one. This one. This one. All right. I believe I have them in order the way I want to shove them through here. All right. So what you do is these have a clear side and a white side. You want the number, the numbers up. You you want to be when you pull it through. Now it's it's going to give you a tough time trying to pull it through straight. So there's that. Sometimes you have to finagle it a little bit to get it to go in straight. But you pull it so that the... I could put two through at the same time if I were confident that I had it right. See how I'm pulling it out? The face, the numbers are up because the sticky is on the white. On the bottom. Oh, if I run out of this, I'm going to be upset. Okay, that's one strip. Now, I'm not going to take it out yet. I'm going to see if I can put these two short ones in at the same time. If I can do two short, short ones, because it's wide enough, then I can definitely put in the two long ones side by side. You know, save... Save material here. Why not? Eh? Oh, good. Oh, that's nice. See, look at that. Ta-da! Right up to the edge, but it did it. It did it. Well, if it misbehaves on me, then I can always cut them off and start again, right? So, I'm going to try to get them straight. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. I know. I know. You need like eight hands to do all these things, right? Okay. That's better now. Do it with my right hand here. So they don't run into each other. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. like that. I had to be careful for it curling underneath. Mm. That's going to have to get its own glue. I'm afeard. Here we go. Let's try this again. I think I'm going to have to cut them. And... this on this side. Let's see if they'll get moving on here. Yeah, don't, not, 
You might go on over top of each other, huh? Yeah. No. Hold it from underneath so I get a decent cut. Pull it out a little bit so it doesn't stick to itself in here. It's trying to do now. There. Okay, done with that. Have to fix this before I push it down. The good thing is that I have. copy. <laughs> I made a copy. So anyway, what you do is you smooth it down as best you can. A little tiny overlap there, but I, I can look for that. A little tiny bubble up here. That's why you don't do two at a time. And you use the smaller one, but I haven't found my smaller one. Okay. All right. Could be better, could be worse. Okay. Rolling it down. And basically, what you do is you tear off this sheet, which then takes the sticky off of the white, transfers it to this plastic. Now it's underneath the paper things and it's on the plastic. And I ripped the whole number off, but I can redo that. Nine three zero. And I didn't do that very well, so I'm going to have to remark that one. Everything else is good so far. All right, and then put the G's and scissors. I'm going to cut them apart in strips. Carefully going between those numbers. Okay. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> well, you know, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Nothing is perfect. What I can do is take this one and maybe put it through the thing again. At least the edges here. Or just use it, a little glue, something like that. All right. All right. 198 is the last one. Okay. Now I'm going to leave some of the this side on because I cut these all the way up to and through part of that to label them on. So I'm going to take my box here and decide which way I want all these little guys to go. There is some room in here. Like for instance if I have more than one 310, which is a you know, good bet, or whatever, more than one brown, or more than I can fit in one case, I can do another one and move them around a bit. That's what I like about it. I'm not, you know, I can bring one, an empty one from another one, stick it in where I need it, take that, and, you know. Okay. Mm. 
I wonder if I could put more of them in if I do it this way. Would they be as easy to pull out? Ooh. Well, I could have them on the side like that. Hmm. Should I do that? I don't know. This is one of the big ones. I guess it would go. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I'll decide later. I'll put them on the... Oh, no, I can't decide later. I have to decide now because of the way I put these guys. beep to beep beep Okay, well, I'll do it this way. I may change it another time. Number one. So what I'm going to do now you can see this. I'm going to cut along the line all the way through the sticker but not all the way through the paper underneath. That way I can peel them off individually easily and not have to have the pile of these things that I sort through every time I want the next number. Okay. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to speed it up because you don't need to watch me do all this. Okay. Look, I won't torture you. I'll turn you off till the next step, okay? Be right back. Well, I've got 48 of them <laughs> labeled. I wanted to show you though, when I fold them and put it through the Xyron, part of it didn't get sticky. So what I'm gonna do is take a little glue and put it down here, squish it together on the ones that have a flap. That way I can continue kitting up. Okay, all right. See you shortly. Can you see me in the middle of all this? <laughs> yeah, um, for 198 colors, it takes nine boxes of 24 count. You'll have some extra. But I think my channel should be called, I make the mistakes so you don't have to. Let me explain. Let me put these down here. Okay. Remember I said a minute ago for you, oh, by the way, it took me from quarter of five to quarter after six. It took me an hour and a half to do this part. Remember I told you what I was going to do was put the labels on the side like this. I cut them and, and put the labels on the sides of the containers. Well, as I'm doing this, even just through the first box, I realized that let's see, you can't really see the symbol well because it's hidden partially under the little flap. See what I mean? And it's tiny and some of them are really close in color and unless you get your magnifying glass right up against it you can't tell the difference. So what I'm going to do is take the papers that I so carefully copied and I'm going to blow them up. I'm going to blow them up so I have a set of just the symbols. Really big symbols. And then I'm going to make them into stickers and stick just the symbols on the side. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's going to take me a while to do that because I still haven't, you know, I have a wonderful copier, but I still haven't figured out where to put it on the the platen to uh, enlarge it so that everything gets on it or doesn't. Yeah, 
So uh, I will get back to you after I've done that and tell you how long that takes. <laughs> I remind, mind you, I still haven't gotten any of the colors, the drills in the kit yet. Yep. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, another little faux pas. Um, I started putting these things in the Xyron upside down. So what that meant is that these things, the right side of them get sticky instead of the back side of them. <sighs> the way to get the sticky off the top, you take some baby powder and you put it over the top of it. You sprinkle it on, move it around, and that takes all the sticky off. Just like it takes all the sand off your feet at the seashore, it takes all the sticky off of this. You know, I, I took it out of its its thing and uh, out of the plastic carrier, cut it off. Oh, now I have lovely powder everywhere. Isn't that fun? Ay, 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 ay. All right, let's. I'll start putting these things through the Xyron once again and hope and pray that I do it right this time. <laughs> okay, be right back. Hi, Divas. Poking in again um, to show you the continuation of the kitting up. What I did was I blew up the symbols by 300%. So now, not only do I have the little thing in the front, this with the symbol that kind of like hides underneath there, I decided to put it on its side, a really big one on its side. The only difficulty I came, uh, came to is you see how that's yellow, a yellow symbol? came out pink, not yellow. So I can't trust the color exactly, but when I put the drills in there, I'll be able to tell the color, obviously. So that's the next thing. This took me, geez, um, it took me about another two hours <laughs> to get all that copied and cut and xyroned and cut apart and stuck on there. So uh, I have all nine containers ready to go. Now I'm ready to put drills in. So I'll see you when a lot of that's done. <laughs> Bye. Okay, divas, I'm jumping in once again to uh, go through my kitting up process and finish that up for the Josephine Wall Spear of the Elements that I am doing, uh, the one from Uniquely Yours Down Under. Let's see. So, and again, this is the beautiful thumbnail I am looking, I am doing. Yes, 197 colors. And I have them all in these Harbor Freight containers. Now, there's eight of them here, and on the ninth one I'm going to do one camera with you. So let me move these off the table. And I will show you. There's a little bit of extra room in these containers, as you can see. And if I have more drills that can fit into a little container, I just stick the little packets in the side, in between there, and I they all fit. Originally, remember, I'd started out with the sticker that I uh, put through my Xyron and cut apart and stuck on the front of the little container until I felt that saw that the flap was overlapping the symbol so it wouldn't be easy to read. And that, this all, the stickers all, took me about an hour and a half. I think that's what it was, but anyway. So what I did again was I blew this up like 300% and cut out each of the little, just the symbols. And I put the symbols on the side of the box. When I only had one or two <clears throat> of the little packets, I didn't dump the, the I didn't empty the packet right into the thing. I just uh, took it in at one or two the one or two and put it in there. I will open it when I need to use it. That's less drills that are floating around. So that's how I did that. The only trouble is when I blew that up, this looks pink and this looks more orange. The one on the front is more true to the color. 
that it actually is. So you can see that especially in this brown. It's brown on the front. It's a little bit pink on the other side. But I'm looking for the symbol anyway, not necessarily just the color. So I want to show you a couple things as I'm kidding up that I was thinking about how I did this. Okay, I have several. <laughs> yeah, I have several uh, packets to do yet. <laughs> These are those little packets. All right, here is my kit. The last one only has one row completed, which is no big deal. All right. What I did was I laid them all out. <coughs> all right. This is 3858. What I had done was I turned them all with the first side facing out so I could see the number, the DMC number and the symbol. So this was 3858. So I go to 3858, open it up. It says here in fine print, open it up. And since there's only two, I just put the two packets in there with, with the number up. And then I turn on its side so that I know that that one's done. I need drills for all the others. And that way I can also tell whether it's all, uh, whether it's all there or not. Now. I need a boat of some kind to do this. All right, <clears throat> All right. 3860. Okay. Open. And what I do with these, well, I don't even need the boat actually. What I do with these is I just cut the top off of all four at the same time three or four at the same time, and then squeeze them until they all fall in there. Okay, that's done. Click. Symbol up. 3861. It's four. I fold them. Left, right. Left, right. Take them down, snip the top, turn them over in the container, done, all right, symbol up, 62 is here, <coughs> there's six, so I'll cut them in three to three, I'll do three at a time. These containers take up to 12 of these little 100 packs. Each of these little packs has 100 in them. So each one of these containers I have found can hold up to 12 packs. Four of four. So it holds between 1,000 and 1,200 drills. I find in this case is awesome. Okay, and 64. <clears throat> Same thing. There's oh, okay, there's a four and a three here. Two, three. Accordion fold, shake down, snip off, pour in. I have the boat underneath it to catch the strays that like to fly around. And the last Oh, there's more of that, duh. Careful. The only thing you have to do is be very careful when you're opening these things because if you open them the wrong way, they'll all pour out. You might not have needed that hint, but I'm such a klutz. I definitely needed to remind myself of that. So, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is include in this last one, I'm going to include the, um, 
the thing, <laughs> the inventory list, and I'm going to include the picture in here as well. Okay, so I know that that's all kitted up. So, are you ready to go on an adventure with me? Are you ready to do this Josephine wall together? I uh, I think I'm going to start with the very center of the um, the very center of the uh, painting first. Not because it's her face or anything, but because it, the outsides are easy to get for me. The inside is the toughest. And I don't want to have to be rolling up one end and rolling out the other end or one end the other or switching around and, and moving it and worrying about all the other drills I already put on it. At the same time, <clears throat> I'm doing the center. So that's that's how I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be starting in the middle. After all, in counter cross stitch, you start in the middle too, correct? So that you don't um, miscalculate and go over the end of a... Uh, the end of the fabric or if you don't leave enough to frame it. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm going to be starting in the middle and I will start a completely different video on that when, it, um, when I'm ready to go. Alright, so I look forward to seeing you in more videos. Hopefully you will be a winner of one of our contests. The uh, After the 500 contest is done, we're going to wait till we have a thousand subscribers and do a big blowout. I have a dreamer design complete canvas that I want to give away. So I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway, uh, have a very blessed day. See you soon. Bye.